it is of critical importance. This is a point in time in a person's life when they're incarcerated that we can really reach them. These are photos from inside the state prison in Berlin, a screening process to be part of the medication assisted treatment program called MAT, which gives inmates Suboxone to treat opioid addiction. 23 out of 35 qualified. People are working very hard to um, get accepted into the program and um, are seeking education on it to see if it's right for them. According to the New England Journal of Medicine, among others, the risk of overdosing and death is more than 100 times greater for an inmate in the weeks after release compared to other drug users. I think that that's extremely, extremely beneficial to uh, a population of, you know, affected um, addicts and especially women. Heidi O'Neill was just transferred to Valley Street Jail from a Massachusetts jail where she was on a Suboxone program. She's had to go cold turkey and she's feeling it. I, I'm uncomfortable, I'll have to tell you that. I mean, I was on it consistently for quite a while and so there are some physical symptoms that come from detoxing with a drug. So, I mean, I'm uncomfortable. Superintendent Dave Dion says county jails in New Hampshire will eventually start offering MAT to inmates with substance use disorder, which is the vast majority. But he has concerns, starting with cost, logistics, and diversion. I'm worried about Suboxone being traded and sold. For now, the Department of Corrections has a grant through the Department of Health and Human Services covering the cost of the medication, $100,000 for the Berlin facility alone. Heidi hopes to get back to Massachusetts soon and get back on the medication that keeps her sober and productive. We just can't give enough help to mm -hmm. somebody that has so, so few resources. I mean, giving them a step up you know, a chance to stay clean when you leave. Also happening right now in the New Hampshire State Prison System, a certificate program for alcohol and drug counseling. Inmates get certified while they're incarcerated and are then employable when they get out. In Concord, Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.